I continue to tell people over and over and over again, stay away from sinful people, sinful friends, so on and so on. If you are ministering to them about things of God, that is one thing. But many of the time, people are not speaking to others about God, but they are being entertained by those sinful people. But Kevin, I have been friends with this person for 20 years, 30 years, 10 years, so on and so on. Let me ask you this. What if you and that friend or friends die at the same time? And let's say that you go to heaven and they go to hell. Would you come up to God and say, hey God, those are my friends. I have been friends with them for 20 years, 30 years. If you send them to hell, you have to send me to hell as well because I can't separate from them because they are my friends. Are you going to tell God that? Of course not. But you say that they have been your friends for 20 years and this is the reason why you can't separate from them. If you have to separate from them in the next life, it is best to do it now. If you are not influencing them about God, they are going to be influencing you with demons. Sinful people has demons all around them. But you believe that you can entertain yourself with a demonic person and believe that no demons are going to get attached to you because you are so strong. Let me tell you this, and let me say this too. In the past, I was a very sinful person. So let me say that. So I am not trying to make my image look great or I never did anything wrong, no. But anyways, I used to have this friend and I believe she died. I had this friend and back then I was in sin, yes. So I started to speak to this person just about every day. And we would talk about things and stuff like that. I was really close to her as friends. And she started to tell me different things that I could gain from, but they were bad. And since I was in sin, I was like, okay. So I started to do these sinful things, more bad things than what I was already doing. So what happened? I got deeper into sin. When you choose to sin, we have to know that God is going to curse you. So I had to reap what I have sown. The people that we are around are going to influence us. For instance, myself, back in the past, I used to teach people on how to do certain bad things. People wanted to know how I was able to do this and that. And at that time, I had the passion to teach people about a certain thing because, well, I am not going to say, but at that time, I did not really see myself as a teacher back then. You know, it is really funny that 
from the way that I was back then till now, it is surprising that I have changed. But anyways, I was teaching people about doing certain bad things. And I thought that I was right by teaching these people those wrong things. And they was doing those wrong things and it worked for them. Yes, I would think they would have to reap what they have sown, but the bad things that I was teaching them, it worked. So that's why they came to me. If they was not prideful, you know how some people are really prideful and think they can do things better than you and stuff like that. But anyways, the people that we are around are going to influence us. So if you are around, let's say that you are friends with a guy or woman that has sex with many men, with many women and stuff like that, you need to stay away from people like that. If I meet a person and they tell me that their friends or the people they hang with is like this and like that and like this, if they are still their friend, if that person that is speaking to me is still their friend, I know there is a large chance that they are doing the same things as well. How can you be friends with people that do those things and not do those things either? Because the demons that are on them are going to be transferred to you because you are staying around those people. Sooner or later, you are going to be influenced. Without God, are you stronger than a demon? No. Demons by far have more influence or have more power than humans. So if you believe that, hey, you know, I'm a strong person and no demon can influence me. Listen, man. No matter how long you have been friends with a person. Let me say this. I was friends with this one person ever since I was in the third grade or something. And when I wanted to change my life, guess what I did? I dropped that person. Oh, Kevin, that is so mean. You are not loyal. I am trying to live for God, and that person is staying doing what we always have done. Yes, I was really close to him and stuff like that, but we are not the same anymore. So I had to let that person go. No hard feelings. Now, if that person wanted to change their life, hey, we can be cool, we can be friends, but no. Even about three or four, three years ago, I believe, I messaged that person on Facebook. I don't know how he is living his life now, but I don't think he was interested in God. We have to separate. Hey, if he won't serve God now and he dies that way, I'm not going to see him in heaven. So it is best to separate now because I can't go around his place and and see him do those things that we did back in our teen teenage years and stuff like that. Doing all of those bad things and stuff. How can I be around that? It is going to influence me. This is why I surround myself with teachings of God. 
I listen to Christian music. I go around people who speak about God. I teach others about God. I teach others how to do things for God. Everything that is around me, it is God-centered. This is the way that it's supposed to be each and every day. Because once you get out of that circle, things that don't pertain to God, if you stay like that, it is going to be difficult for you to maintain your salvation, to do things of God. I'm telling you, well, Kevin, you know, whatever, you know. That is my friend, and they are my friend to the end. <laughs> so be it, man. <laughs> so be it. God bless.